Okay, so I've switched over to uh, screen view on my laptop here, and we're going to do that uh, OS upgrade. And I've never done this before, so I will probably be uh, kind of stumbling through it. And uh, yeah, yeah, it may uh, be a little uh, awkward at points, but we'll uh, let's give it a try here, and we'll see how it goes. I've never done this before, like I said, so. We'll see if it works, see if we can actually get the truck to start. So I'm clicking on this uh, OS tab here. Um, I've got my uh, HP Tuner's uh, USB interface plugged into the OBD2 port on the truck. And I'm going to pick this speed density 3 bar RTT, which stands for real time tuning. And I'm gonna go apply code modification. And what does it say here? To complete the OS enhancement, save the file with a new name, close the current file, open new file, use write entire process only on the first write. Okay. So we'll stay save the file with a new name. So I guess I go up here, save as, um, here's some tunes I've been playing around with, but I've just got the stock tune in it right now. So we'll save it as version for update. And I'll hit save. Now it's saying open a new file. I guess I open this one again. Like I said, I've never done this before, so. Okay, so I've got that uh, stock tune version for update opened up again, and it said to do a right entire. So I'm gonna go to right vehicle, right entire. Hmm, brickable, that doesn't sound encouraging. Um, but hey, God hates a coward, I've, I've heard, so let's hit right. Let's see what happens. Kind of a slow process. Okay, so it's saying right completed. Now, there's a couple... I know I need to copy over the VE table and stuff from the stock tune, so I'm just going to close this. Close this. We'll go into engine. Primary VE table. Yeah, it's all the same number. All 162, so uh, obviously that needs to be changed. But uh, you can see it does go up to... Uh, you know, the map table or the VE table used to just go up to like 105 or something like that. And now it goes way higher. So um, it looks like it took the, the three bar map. Um, I'm going to open up my, uh, my stock tune file again. <coughs> And go into the primary VE table here. Yeah, it just goes up to 105, so. I um, can't remember how to copy this. Well, copy, I guess. And now I'm going to go back to this version for update. Primary, and let's try to paste this in there. Looks like it took it all. <coughs> but you can see everything from 105 on is still uh, 162. So I'm gonna try copy this row. 
take it down to the bottom row and then how do I do this again I want to try and multiply it by like I've heard some people say add 25% more fuel or 33% more fuel what happens if we go 133 and multiply oh that just does the whole row I guess I gotta paste it first so paste that and I'm gonna do the multiply hmm that's not working at all Let me try this again paste Maybe I gotta select this again. Maybe I'm trying too big of a number. Let's try undo. Maybe I just go 33%. Nope. Undo. Maybe it's by 1.33 that looks better so now my bottom row here should be 1.33 times now I need to do the uh, I'll select all that and do this interpolate hmm that's a little weird undo maybe I didn't have it selected all the way like I said I'm new to this and kinda let me try this interpolate deal again that looks better <coughs> so now that should give me a, a V table that uh, I'm hoping is enough to at least start the vehicle. Um, now I gotta go in and actually set the. Uh, where, where do I gotta go here to set the. Uh, um, I think it's called like linear and offset for the. Um, map sensor so I'm just gonna look around and oh right here I'm so I'm gonna go back to this sloppy wiki internet's gonna be slow cuz I'm sitting out in my driveway in my truck Should have planned ahead and had this open already, but I didn't, so. Sloppy mechanics wiki. Some noisy dodge driving by. Um, and I just typed in three bar into search. And this is the page you want here. GM map sensor identification scale offset settings. So I believe the one I'm using or is this 3.3 .3 bar. So I want six negative 6.35 for uh, offset. So let me hop back in here. Negative 6.35. negative 6.35 whoops something didn't work there negative 6.35 that looks better now let me hop back here um, and 329.41 for linear 329.41 Okay, so I'm going to save this as uh, 
Randy's truck three bar OS version one. So I'm gonna save that and then we're gonna and I believe now we should be able to just do right calibration. So I'll make sure my key is still on. We'll go right. Okay, right completed. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm, I may have to come back in and adjust these uh, linear and offset numbers. I'm actually going to, I've got a, from work, I've got a, like a hand pump. I can actually pump up and put whatever KPA on this sensor here. So, um, but for now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to see if the truck will actually start up or not. So let's give this a try. And I don't know if you can hear that or not, but the truck is actually starting and won't idle, but it'll stay running if I uh, pump the gas. So at least I can move the truck now if I have to. So, but it just stalled there when I when I let off the gas to try and get it to idle. So um, I'm gonna close up the uh, the computer part of it here, and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna pump up that. Uh, map sensor and uh, make sure it agrees with what the scanner is seeing here so I will uh, resume again here shortly talk to you soon